I'm Mariana with MailChimp. In this video, we'll review how to connect or disconnect Stripe and manage Stripe products from your MailChimp account. When you connect your Stripe account to MailChimp, you can start selling online in minutes through your landing page. You can also use Stripe to process payments for your MailChimp store. When visitors make a purchase, their order and contact details will be added to your audience. And with this information, you can send your contacts targeted marketing to help grow your business and sell more stuff. Today, I'm going to connect my Stripe account and add a product to my shoppable landing page. All right, ready to dive in with me? Let's get started. To begin, I wanna make sure I have the credentials related to my business on hand, like my contact details, banking account information, and other information such as a tax ID for the business or the owner's social security number. I may be requested to provide a photo ID too. The information you'll need to provide to set up an account will vary depending on the country your MailChimp account and your business are based in. And once I have that information handy, I'm ready to connect my Stripe account to MailChimp. All right, so I'll click the integrations icon and find Stripe on the integrations page. Then I'll click connect a new site. This will take me to the MailChimp for Stripe page in another browser. If you've used Stripe before, this process will create a new Stripe account that is connected to your email address and is accessible from your Stripe dashboard. Since I haven't used Stripe before, but own my business, I'll go ahead and create an account with my email address. And Stripe recommends that the owner of a business or someone with significant management responsibility completes these next steps. And from here, Stripe will ask me to provide information which will vary based on where my business is located and the type of information I have to provide for account setup. This is where I'll input my information like business address, a contact phone number, banking information, and other details. Keep in mind that only business owners want to set up a Stripe account. Your customers do not have to set up an account to make a purchase. After I fill out the forms, I'll review all the details I've provided for my Stripe account and click Submit. On the next page, I'll choose the audience I want to work with and click Next. Nice, now my Stripe account is connected to MailChimp and I can begin to sell Stripe products in my store or on my shoppable landing page. I'll click all done to finish the process. This will take me to the management page for Stripe. Here I can see my connection status, audience settings and product settings. And I can also add new Stripe products to MailChimp for my shoppable landing pages. If I use Stripe with MailChimp stores, Products that I create in MailChimp won't be available to review or edit directly in Stripe. They'll only exist in MailChimp, and I'll use Stripe to process payments. To learn more about MailChimp stores, check out our guides and tutorials. To add a product, I'll click Manage Products, and in the Select a Product modal, I'll choose Add and give my product this title. Then I'll upload a picture. This one looks good. And I'll go with this description. And price. Then I'll click save and it will automatically sync to my Stripe account. I can come back here to search for my product or add another. And for now, I'll close out of the modal and return to the site details page. Now, let's say that I want to edit the price of an existing Stripe product in MailChimp. This will create a second price for that product in Stripe and will appear as two different products in my MailChimp account. But if I add or change products in Stripe, I can just click the drop down next to Manage Products and choose Refresh Products to see those updates in MailChimp. Nice! I just have one last thing to show you today, and that's how to disconnect your Stripe account from MailChimp. Once you do this, you won't be able to reconnect the same account to MailChimp again, so do this only if you're 100% sure you no longer wish to use this Stripe account with our features. To disconnect, I'll return to the site details page, and at the bottom here, I'll click disconnect. In the are you sure modal, I'll click disconnect again. And that's it. You've learned how to connect and disconnect Stripe. For more information, check out MailChimp's guides and tutorials.